So the two things that I love are Twitter and space, and this is the intersection of those two things. I grew up in a rural part of southern Arizona where the skies at night were fantastic, and it just inspired me to become an aeronautical engineer. So those dreams didn't quite make it to reality, but I still have my love of space. My friend of mine gave me a tip to uh, open a Twitter account back in 2010, and I thought, why would I need a Twitter account? But I'm glad that I joined because I found a community of space tweets. They're folks who have a very um, similar love of space uh, to me. And we can uh, experience things like the Mars lander uh, crashing down to, to Mars uh, uh, in a live environment um, and, and tweeting to each other about it. So I um, registered for a NASA social and was selected and was really almost literally jumping for joy. I was able to see um, NASA Administrator Charlie Bolden and astronaut Leland Melvin and they let us talk to mission scientists and uh, we got to sit in a room with other people that are like us uh, with our chargers. We had smartphones and laptops and we had uh, photograph equipment and all sorts of just chargers. Uh, you, you don't want to run out of battery. <laughs> and we're tweeting the whole time. And one of the tours they took us on was a behind the scenes tour of the Launch Control Center. This is where you had uh, shuttle missions. And I got to sit in the launch director's seat, which was totally awesome. <laughs> And just imagining a live shuttle mission going on there was very inspiring. We also got invited on a tour of the VAB, that's the Vehicle Assembly Building. It's the largest single story building uh, in the world and at 526 feet. And it was built for the Apollo mission. It was used um, in the shuttle mission uh, time and they're reconfiguring it for future missions. And this is the interior. Um, there's a big wall where hundreds of people have signed their names uh, in support of the shuttle missions, which was very inspiring to see that level of community and support. Standing next to this beautiful orbiter was like standing next to a celebrity. It was amazing. That vehicle was in space and I was standing right next to it. This is the launch pad. It's an Atlas V rocket. On top is a fairing that contains twin uh, probes that were going to be uh, tossed into orbit and to study the uh, radiation belt of, uh, that goes around the, the Earth in the magnetic field. And the interaction with uh, the sun's particles is something we need to understand so we can protect uh, GPS and we can protect uh, satellites and people that are in orbit. And if you have a chance, I highly recommend registering for one of these things because all of these people are wonderful and I keep in touch with a lot of them. Just uh, whenever there's a launch, whenever there's anything going on with space, we are on Twitter and we are on the job. It's just so incredibly inspiring. The first launch attempt was at night and it was scrubbed due to a sensor failure. The second attempt was on top of the VAB. We got invited, a select few, 11 out of the original 36. We were on top of that VAB roof and it was spectacular. You could see where they were going to launch. Only there was a lot of lightning and a lot of weather that unfortunately resulted in another scrub launch attempt. But I was super excited to be there. And it was very, very much fun. So I may not be an aeronautical engineer anytime soon, but I've got a community online that's gotten me closer to my dreams. And it's pretty amazing. So don't give up.